light of recent events and the behaviour of certain boys throughout our school, I've decided to talk to you about what it means to be a man and how we should be behaving towards a treating young woman. Growing up with a household of five girls, a mother and four older sisters, I'm motivated to talk to you today about how we should be doing better. Throughout my time at Christchurch Boys High, I've experienced boys behaving in a rude and so-called manly manner towards young women, gay, lesbian, bisexual, or just different people in our community. We think it's cool to make jokes about a boy just because he may be gay. We think it's manly to catcall girls at bus stops. We think it's appropriate to casually misuse words like gay. And we think we have the right to body shame girls or judge them just off their appearance. We don't. Yet despite these actions, we all aspire to great heights like making the first 15, whose values go completely against these actions. The corridors of our school are filled with pride flags with stickers stuck onto our classroom doors. Yet despite these movements to normalise and accept the LGBTQ community, we still hear boys commonly misusing words like fag and queer as an insult, or slightly talking about those who may be. Almost every day we see LGBTQ and women's rights movements post on social media. But do we ever stop to read? Do we ever stop to correct and educate ourselves? It is clear that despite the actions people take to try and educate us on the LGBTQ community and how we should be treating women, women better, the change is only possible if we, us boys, do something about it. Picture this. You're walking down the street with your mum, sister or girlfriend and a couple of boys drive past and catcall her. As they drive by laughing, them, by laughing, one of them then shouts at her, Oi, slut, get in. Instantly, we would react. We would yell back at the car and want to do something. We would be so infuriated that someone has said such a thing to our mom or sister. Yet when we hear our mates do, such, do or say such a thing, we laugh, we don't react, and for some reason, we seem to think it's okay. Boys, Ask yourself this, what if that was your sister, what if that was your mum, what if that was your girlfriend? Would it be so funny? Almost every day we hear our mates talk about a girl, shaming her, exposing her, or laughing about her body. What if that girl is your sister? We would instantly say something, yet when we hear our mates say these things so casual, we don't say a thing. And boys, girls don't dress for us, they dress for themselves. The outfits they wear are invitations for us to judge them or act without consent. We need to stop the not all men mindset that we have created in defence for actions such as sexual harassment and abuse. The problem starts here within the culture of boys' schools. We need to change that. We have to do better. To be a man isn't defined by the size of your arms, nor your chest. It isn't defined by how tough you look, nor how many beers you can drink. A man isn't defined by how hard he hits, nor by how he barely cries. A man is defined by how safe he makes you feel. And, today's, and in today's world, it is more evident than ever that women don't feel safe being harassed, they don't feel safe being seen as an object, they don't feel safe being used, and they don't, they don't feel safe being judged by their outfit. Maybe we need to ask ourselves, are we really being men? When did it become cool to put others down or judge them because they may be a different sexuality or stand for something they believe in? When did it become manly to treat women so poorly? Even though I say we, I know this problem goes further than this hill, and I know it's only a minority, but I'm talking to the majority. And for there to be change, we all, we all must do something today. So boys, I challenge you to man up. Next time you hear your mate saying or doing the wrong thing, it only takes five seconds of courage to jump in and do the right thing. How's your better?